And there we go. Player 1, hit points equals 15, attack equals 5, defense equals 5. Now it randomly, between Goblin and Orc, it decided to pick Orc, so we got to fight the big guy first. Hit points equals 10, attack equals 6, defense equals 6. Let's say we want to fight the Goblin instead. Just hit refresh, and it looks like it picked the Orc again. Hit refresh, pick the Orc again. Is it ever going to pick? There we go. Now we got the Goblin. Hit points equals 5, attack equals 3. We want to fight him first. If you notice, if you put it on the, the, the actual attack link, if you look down below down here, right here where it says done, it'll actually say attack.php creature equals goblin. It's actually turning that creature variable into that. Next thing we want to do <clears throat> is we want to go to our attack script. This is where we're going to end up. Same as before, we have our PHP open saying include, include for our database. First thing we want to do is we want to get the player's information. Now, in a normal environment, this is redundant because every page is re-pulling up the player info. But for this example, it doesn't matter. It's fine. We're, we're just going to kind of be redundant here. Now, also, once again, if is set get creature. Now it's saying if, the ver if that variable get method is set, which we just seen that it was set, uh, then it's going to make the variable creature get creature so it's going to take this variable creature equals goblin that's going to pass it through the URL this is going to pull it from the URL so creature is actually going to eat equal goblin and then we're going to do a query saying select all from creatures where name equals creature which is going to equal goblin that's going to pull all his stats and put it in an array <coughs> else if that is not set then there was no creature selected. Somehow we got to this page and we weren't supposed to. It's saying go back to battle so you can pick one. And that's all it's going to do. It's going to give you a reference. And actually, let's go ahead and edit, add in a exit here so it exits the code completely. Save that. Okay, player hit points equals, and then this is just like before. We just we just fill, fill it back up, a little redundancy here, and the same thing here too. Now... Now we start with the player's turn. Now we're going to actually get into combat. Let's do echo the underline just like before. Now this time we're going to make a new variable and call it player attack. We're going to do a random number. This is how you do random in PHP right here. Rand it equals 1 through 20. Let's say it's a, a d20 where we're like we're rolling a d20 for a dice. Plus we're going to add the player, atta player attack, the modifier of his attack that's in the database, which was what, 5? Then we want to have the creature roll a dice to defend. So the creature defense is going to equal same thing, random plus his defense. So then we do player info three name. We're we're saying print the name. Attack roll is and then the player attack. That way we tell the player what he rolled plus his his actual attack. The creature's defense roll is this. Next thing we want to do, if player attack is greater than creature defense, if the player's roll was higher than the creature's roll, then we then he hit. So we want to say player hits, player damage equals and let's let's just say they both do d6 worth of damage. We could have put in there some some damage modifiers, but that's for a later video. We're going to make a new variable called player damage, and it's going to equal random 1 through 6. Um, new creature hit points is the current creature hit points, which we got from up here, from the array, minus the player damage. So we're taking his, let's say he has 5 hit points, and let's say we did 4 damage, we're taking his 5 and minus in the 4. And then we're going to tell the player 4, four, dam four points of damage. Now, if the creature is below one hit point, if if new creature hit points is less than one, if we've killed him, then we need to tell him the creature has been killed. Then we're going to do a, let's space this out so we can kind of see what we're doing here. We're going to do new uh, query. This We want to get rid of the creature. We've killed him. So let's delete from creatures where name equals the creature, which is going to be goblin or whatever it is. Limit one. If there's two goblins in there, we don't want to delete them both. We only want to delete one. Uh, you got to be careful here because if you have two goblins with different stats, it's not going to know which one. So that's when you can actually add in here where name equals creature and whatever that different stat is equals this certain number, equals this number up here. Okay, and then if something happens to where the query can't happen, then we want to tell us could not update creature. Uh, and then we want to say go back, you killed him. So we just put in a reference and go back. Uh, now, else if so in other words it says if new creature is less than one do this but if it's not if the creature is still alive then we want to we want to go ahead and minus those hit points so we do another query and this is actually going to be the first query if he's not 
hasn't been killed. Update creature set hit points equals the new creature hit point where name equals creature. Now, and you can also do a limit one here if you have more than one. Let's save that. Now, now our other else, this else comes from all the way up here, this if, if player attack is greater than player defense. If it's not, then that means he misses. We need to let him know, hey, you missed. Now we're going to creature's turn. Creature's turn is exactly like the player's turn, except we're reversing it. The, the creature attack is attacking. The player defense, of course, is defending. Uh, everything else is the same, though. The, the, the cre Other than it's just switched. The creature's attack roll is this. The player's defense roll. The damage. Uh, player's hit points minus the damage. You can kind of go through this and kind of read all this for yourself and understand where it is. Same thing with new player hit points. If they're less than one, then that player has been killed, and I made a little game over page, which I'll show you in a second. It's just real simple text, nothing big. And the, you just want them to click continue, and then it says game over. Uh, update If not, though, if they're not dead, then update the player, set hit points equals new player, where name equals player one. Else, the creature misses. So in other words, if, if creature attack is greater than player defense, do the damage. Else, then he misses. And we want to go back to the original page. So let's test this out. We have this here, we're fighting the goblin, let's hit attack. <clears throat> okay, here's our player one's attack. Player one's attack roll is seven, goblin's defense roll is seventeen, player one misses. Goblin's attack, goblin's attack roll is five, twenty. Let's do battle again. Brings us back to this first page so you can kinda say, well hey, my hit points are this, do I want to keep attack and hit attack again? They the player misses, but look here the the goblin actually hits. Goblin's attack rolls thirteen. Players one defense is twelve. Goblin hits for one point of damage. That means we should have fourteen points uh, hit points left. We do. So let's attack again. There we go. We hit the goblin for four points. He hit us for three. He should only have what one hit point. Yeah, he's only got one hit point left. We have eleven. Let's do another attack. We we hit him for one point. He's been killed. We hit go back. Now you notice, now all we have is the orc left. So now you have to go through and fight the orc. And they both miss. Attack again. Two points and two points. So now let's see what happens if we die. Let's go into our database. Go here to our players. You might want to refresh that because the data has changed. Otherwise, it may give you an error. Just click on players. Don't actually hit, click refresh, which you can, but it's just easier to hit players right here. And then hit this little edit button for player one, or whatever player that you're playing with. And this will actually allow us to change our hit points and attack. And if you do get killed, this is where you'll go to actually change it. Let's let's just give them one hit point. Next point dies. And hit go. And make sure you wait for this to actually update. And let's go back here. And let's attack. Okay, here we go. We hit for one point, or I mean for three points damage. Now he hit us for two points, so that means we've been killed. Hit continue. We go to the game over page, which I didn't show you. It's a little stupid little page anyway. It just kind of says game over, blah, blah, blah. Big deal. Uh, and that's basically the game. Simple fight. Uh, defense type game super simple nothing big but this is kind of a basis of where you want to get started you want to find what what you want to do and see from here we can add we can add like say health potions we can add a healer we can add uh, magic uh, anything you want to this and it's real simple because we're building off a main a main base of this uh, if you want, if, if I have enough people to say, hey, let's keep building on this, then we'll, that's what we'll do. We'll just keep building this and keep making it more and more dynamic till we have this really cool dynamic game. But if, if no one is interested in a game like this, then please let me know. We'll, we'll figure out something else. We'll do a little more like a market game. But I just need some, some input of where you guys want to go next with this. But uh, And you know, if you want to keep playing, then you can just hit the creatures on your database. Go to your creatures table and just add, keep adding new creatures. And I'll kind of show you here how we deleted the goblins and all we have is the orc left and you can go in here and add whatever you want and what we can do later is we can add experience and level up and all that good stuff but that's basically the end of this video uh... in the next video i'll kind of leave it up to the players where we go from there